Alrighty folks, welcome to a recording of City Skylines. I am Palpatine001 aka Vicinant and we are in Neo South Auckland. The purpose of this recording is one of a three part series of let's ride the transit system and let's get down to first person mode. I will also be doing a couple of other videos on things like transit orientated developments and just my general mixed reality style of playing this game. Um, outside of streaming. Of course I do my usual streams which for City Skylines is every Thursday New Zealand time at the moment but these recordings allow me to dive down deeper into the detail that I wouldn't be able to do outside the stream. So part one or three, let's make this a three partner, we are going to look at what we've done and ride around the city centre and have a toy. So Neo South Auckland, here she is currently at 50,000 and it's under massive growth at the moment because I've just finished the city centre and some extra zoning, some extra stuff off stream in the duration. So let's get this show on the road, let's ride a tram, some trams, and let's get this going. So the first basic overview of the transit system, here are the buses, here are the trams, here's the metro, and the heavy rail is intercity at the moment. Alrighty. They continue to not work. I'll, I'll do that. So here's the tram. Let's get going. So there won't be much commentary in regards to me doing this. This is the case of just watch it around we go. And it looks like we're going to get rain with this too. So this is my brand new latest tram line. Monaco City Centre to the airport and back again. <laughs> For those here in Auckland who would know in IRL, in real life, this would be basically mim mimicking um, the real life airport to Botany Rapid Transit, at least between Monaco and the airport anyway, rather than having it as a busway. So we've got some Sims 2 music going, so let's just get this going. Of course there are other existing tram services, so we'll have those as well. Looks like it's going to rain in game as well. So we're just in passing in front of the palace on the left, the Soviet City Hall on the right. We're now passing the Imperial Security Bureau. And we're now coming down to the main north-south core spine of the city centre. So Melbourne-based trams. So the city centre has t has a ring road around it of 12 lane roads with some transit and then it has this core road that runs down, well that's a lot of people. North south road that goes up and down it with car free zones in the two interior pieces. Now the way I've got the transport lines manager mod going which means that if the, on the road, if there's no one at the stop or station, the unit just passes straight through. So basically in this part we'll ride this tram, to and from the airport and then we'll ride the tram from Papatoe out to here and then we might do one of the bus, the new bus from Rickerton to here for part one. So obviously someone's wanting to get on and off. 
Now the theme for this, the building theme manager is set to all, so international, European, and whatever custom mods I've got. No, it's just going to be an overcast day in the city. So what we're looking at is the university that I plan to build later on. So that will probably be done either as a recording or off stream. So we're now on one of the big ring roads that go around the city. So what we see on the right hand side is a geothermal um, steam plant that produces district heat. So because this map does drop below min to minus 3 degrees in the night, we use district heating rather than electricity to heat um, the city. Of course a lot of these tram stops will be empty at the moment because I build infrastructure ahead of the development, unlike New Zealand who builds the development and thinks about the infrastructure for 30 years. So yeah, you'll see a lot of blank land at the moment. This area will plan to be residential. Up there you can see the train stations which at the moment runs the intercity services. I mean, it's 20 past 11 in the game. running behind the rear of the big Soviet city hall. And now we're going to make our way out to the airport. the aircraft departing from.
What we see directly here now is the downtown that will be next, also built alongside the university. So that's next up in the major building list. Alright, away we go. Out to the airport we go. moment guys so I've actually that gently triggered so we're now coming out to the airport it looks like there's people waiting for the intercity trains too and there's actually people walking and cycling from the airport interesting even though I've got rapid transit available they're choosing to walk and cycle Oh well. See all the traffic coming back from the airport. Which is why I've got the wide roads here with bus lanes as well. So the airport is serviced by the trams, the buses, the taxis, and the metro rail. So very well serviced. So that's actually intercity traffic coming from those train stations as well. Just going to do a quick edit here guys, because um, that's going to need fixing up. They won't be using Intercity, believe me. Oh, I don't know why it's on there, but... You can already see the airports giving us fun and grief. I suppose all airports do. Alright, we're just going to do the loop. Looks like the airport's already very busy.
Okay, what are we waiting on for here? Okay, let's go carry back on. Whoop, there goes an end city service. Now we're heading back towards the city centre. As you see, there's quite a lot of cyclists heading there as well. So the tallest tower there at the moment is the Ocean's Tower, which holds over 1,600 households. So times that by three, about 4,800 people in that tower alone. So we'll make our way to the city centre. Okay, back in the city centre. As a, oh, it's a school there, I believe that's why that's... Yep, go with the cyclists. One thing we do try and achieve is a walking cycling transit city. Technically that does not need to be... So we'll just use transit manager to... that up so that continues on to the bus station or the tram continues down its own tramway So Soviet hall to the city hall to the left, Tra intercity train station to the uh, sorry to the right, intercity train station to the left. Oh, we've got some passengers to get. More like a bunch of tourists.
Spring taxi. Yes, that is a green tramway, so that is grass below the tracks. So as I mentioned earlier, the reason why this is green is because I always build the infrastructure ahead of time. So this will go become residential and some light commercial later on to tap into the riverbank that is to the left. The soundtrack we're listening to is from The Sims 2. And we're basically back to where we started, given the tram depot is just to my left. So that is one of the tram lines. So we're gonna, this ends part one. Part two will be taking a tram from Papatoitoi and coming out to the city centre. We will also catch the metro around as well and then in part three we'll look at doing some bus journeys let me just turn a couple of these on because i'm just having a bit of a glitch but i oh i'm just wondering because these were set to recode that i've got to redo them because these are yeah, showing up as tourists and not as... Uh, I'll have to redo those. But yeah, part two, we'll go riding the metro.